it is possible for a zombie creating fungus to occur. There actually is such a thing as the opiocordyceps unilateralis fungus. In The Last of Us, it's simply identified as cordyceps. This particular fungus that we're talking about today infects ants, tropical ants in fact, that live in the tropical rainforests in such places as the Amazon or in Southeast Asia. Now this particular fungus lives on the forest floor. The ants that it infects live in the tree canopies. Every so often an ant needs to cross from one tree to another, tries to jump and misses, falls to the forest floor and becomes infected with the fungus. The ant then, not realizing what's happened, climbs back up the tree, mixes back with its friends, but the fungus takes hold. It begins causing tremors. The ant eventually shakes so violently that it falls back out of the tree canopy and back onto the forest floor. By this time, the fungus has completely taken over all of the ant's movements. It causes the ant to go to a suitably sized plant, climb up the stalk, and using its mandibles to clamp directly on to the underside of a large leaf. At, scientists have found, a particular height that produces a particular humidity and temperature range. This is optimal for the particular fungus to reproduce. The ant then dies. The fungus sprouts a fruiting body looking like a little radio antenna coming out of the ant's head in which it spreads its spores and creates more of itself. Now, if this sounds horrible, and it is, I wouldn't want to go through it myself, there is actually something that is called a hyperparasite that parasitizes the opiocordyceps unilateralis fungus. Yes, the zombie creating fungus has a parasite that preys on it as well. So, does this mean that we're going to see the last of us and then some? I will leave that up to the writers.